Alright, today we have one of the classic yellow Amazon envelopes. Let's go ahead and open up this padded envelope and see what is inside today. Ooh! Alright. So today it looks like we have ourselves a manual juicer and vegetable key. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. A manual juicer and vegetable peeler kit. Rust resistant, easy to use, all in one solution. I'm actually really excited about this because I have found myself needing a juicer lately when I'm cooking um, for lime juice. So um, I will definitely have to use this for a dinner, let you know how it worked for me, but we'll get it out of the box and we'll look at it today. So um, okay, so it's rigid design allows for extreme handling. I don't really know what that means. I guess if you are just really getting into your cooking or something, effortless squeezing sounds great. Rust-free stainless steel all-in-one solution. So a three-in-one vegetable peeler set allows you to easily swap between a fruit or vegetable peeler. It's sharp but safe blade design is equipped to take on the toughest fruits and vegetables. Um... The sticker is right over what I want to see. Something about the dishwasher. That's important to me. Love using the dishwasher. Um, so here's what we have. This is what is included in the set. We've got a manual juicer, a trio peeler holder. So we've got the holder and then these are the blades that go on. So we've got the large Y blade, the standard blade, and then the Julian blade. All right, so let's open it up and see. I'm hoping there's some info inside about the use of a dishwasher since that sticker has covered it up. Ooh, this is in there. Maybe I should take this out first. Oh wow, this is big. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting something this large. Okay, we got some things here. So um, let's check this out. Manual juicer and vegetable peeler kit, all-in-one solutions. Let's see, that's not the info I'm looking for. You know I'm looking, do, disclaimer. There it is. Do not wash juicer and dishwasher as it may lead to a worn out appearance. Hmm. Shiny appearance, ease of wash. I don't know. I'm going to have to weigh that. Honestly, if that's all it's about is just the look, I might go for that functionality over the, the fashion. Um, juicer instructions. Cut the fruit in half, lift the handle, push the handle down, pour the squeezed juice, all right, I'm excited about this. I've never had a juicer like this before, so let's get this out. This looks like quite a contraption. <sighs> I'm surprised at how big it is, but I guess it has to be. If you're going to be juicing something, like if you have half an orange, it's got to fit, right? Um, okay, so here it is. Nice and shiny. I guess if you want to keep that nice and shininess, you don't put it in the dishwasher. So here's this little tray that sits in here to strain out the pulp, I'm assuming. Um, and so it looks like you just put the fruit in there and you just squeeze it. And then, yeah, you dump out the juice just like it shows. So that looks easy enough. Pretty self-explanatory how a juicer works. Um, I'm excited to give this a try and let you guys know how, how it is. I'm wondering, okay, so here, I was wondering about this little tray right here. So this is obviously meant to keep the, um, keep the fruit and the pulp from much of it anyway from going into the juice and right down here is where the juice pours out over here on this side so the juice falls down into the holes when you squeeze it and then you just pour it and this will hold the fruit and oh so very cool all right i'm so excited to try this i'm gonna go find some limes let's check out what else is in the bag 
we know this is the peelers, right? All the, the peeler handle and everything else, but let's get it out. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, here's the handle. I wasn't expecting this color. I like it. It's kind of like a very light blue, almost teal color. Okay. So it looks like here we have the standard peeler. Let's check how easy this is. Obviously we have a notch right here that fits in through this hole. Let's see how easy it is to snap in. Did it go? Oh, I think it did. I was expecting a, a noise or a snap. Ooh, be careful. This is, I mean, it should be, it's sharp but I think that might be something just watching out for the sharp blade. Seems sturdy once it's in there though. Um, so that's the standard blade. Now let's see, here's the real test. Is it easy to get off? Let's see. So you press it. It's easy enough, but you just gotta watch that blade. All right, let's check. Here's the big one the big Y blade. You know, personally, I'm already looking at this and I'm kind of like, why do we have different colors? I wish, I wish we went with all the blue. This is like kind of a grayish brownish color. All right, let's snap it in. There's a teeny snap there. <laughs> Not much of one. This is a cool blade though. It rotates a little bit for, I guess, however you want to hold it. Um, I like how wide this is. So you could, you know, if you wanted to peel a bigger vegetable or fruit, all right. Oh, it's, it's really not that hard. <laughs> I think I'm expecting it to be harder. All right. And here is the Julian blade. So you can see that this blade has, Ooh, those sharp teeth. Let's go ahead and snap it in. A good satisfying snap. I like that. That noise lets me know that it's in there. I also feel like the button wasn't as centered when I put on this one. I want to try that one again. So here it is. There's the Julian blade. You can't put it on the wrong way because this is the only way it will fit. The, these ones are a little easier to grab and get off. This one's a little tricky, but since that blade goes up and down the side, but let's try it again. Okay. See, that's not quite as centered, but it feels like it's really in there. Okay. Now we're going to press on that button. Oh, there we go. All right. So here is the handle. It's got Robotech, the company's name on the handle and the three blades that you switch out. Um, I like the variety in the blades, but the real star here, obviously I think is the juicer. The juicer is baller. I like this. So it's nice and big. It feels very sturdy and strong. Um, and it really seems like it is going to do what it needs to do. Stainless steel. I like how it has this tray in here and you can pour the juice right out. That's super easy and convenient. I can't wait to try this. Um, like I said, it was a little bigger than I was expecting, but Really, I think that's only a good thing because you could definitely fit half of an orange in here. Um, if you think about what are you juicing with something like this, limes, lemons, oranges, um, I don't know. There's probably some other things, but those are probably, citrus is probably your best bet, your main, main juicing. I know for me, limes for cooking and I hate squeezing them out. So this will be super exciting. So if you need a juicer for cooking, this manual juicer looks like it's going to do the trick. I will try to update on how well it works. And as an as added bonus, you get this, um, this peeler set, which is kind of cool with all these different blades. Really loving the Y shaped one here. That is really nice and wide to get bigger fruits and vegetables. So pretty cool set. Um, pretty happy with it. Um, the colors I think I wish were, I kind of just wish this was maybe a prettier color or match the handle, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then my only 
kind of sad womp womp moment is just um, thinking about the dishwasher. You can't put the juicer in there. I mean, maybe you can, but I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if maybe these joints might get a little rusty and that wouldn't be a good thing. So that's a bummer. But otherwise, super excited to use this set, especially the juicer. So thanks so much for, um, thanks so much for checking this out with me and I will see you back tomorrow for another daily delivery. Thanks. Bye.